Hello. Today, I am here to bring a word of faith and hope to all of you. A word for those of you who have been going through struggles, for those of you who often don't understand what is happening. I will show you that there is a way out of any kind of problem. I will show you, in a practical way, how you can quickly exit this desert. Of course, there is a right time for everything, and God will allow us to go through this desert. But many people delay their desert experience because they don't understand what they need to do in this difficult moment. We will meditate on the book of Job, which teaches us many lessons, but we can see that despite all his suffering, the time came when his suffering ended. There comes a moment when the desert passes. The desert has a beginning, middle, and end. You who have been facing trials need to believe in this. You must not lose your faith. What God has prepared for you is much greater and better than anything you have experienced so far. Amen. The Bible says that what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what has never entered the heart of man, is what God has prepared for those who love Him. Glory to God. Many people have commented that they are getting stronger through our prayers, and I am very happy about this because I also become stronger when I pray for you. Many people have been living in a difficult cycle of suffering and struggles, but this cycle is ending. This cycle is closing to begin a new one. For this, you need to understand how God works, and that's what I want to bring to you in this message. I know that many of you are going through very difficult times, but I believe that no one has gone through a moment as difficult as Job's. Job was a man who lived through two cycles in his life. One cycle was marked by extreme poverty, destruction, humiliation, and defeat within his home, a time of great sadness. Then a new cycle began in his life. I don't need to say much about Job, everyone already knows his story. That man suffered immensely. But Job prayed for his friends, even when they accused him. You need to understand that you can only have this attitude if you are standing firm with God, if you are connected to God. God has said, Forgive as I have forgiven you. Love as I have loved you, the Bible says that Jesus learned obedience to God through suffering. So, everything you are going through today is so that in the future, you will bear more fruit because your heart is aligning with the Father's. Amen. Do you know the story of Hannah? Hannah was a bitter woman who endured humiliation all the time. No one believed in her. She lived in suffering and in the desert her whole life. But when God acted in her life, her prayer was that of someone with a clean, washed soul, a prayer from someone living in a new cycle. God restored her fortune, changed her life. In her prayer, she said, it is the Lord who exalts, it is the Lord who makes things happen, he makes the barren woman the mother of many children, I will add a separate video with Hannah's prayer for you to repeat because if I include it here, it will become too long. So, look at her example and believe that you have no idea what God has prepared for you. I myself have been through a very difficult desert, but when I understood that my deliverance would come from the Lord, that's when everything started to change. As my faith increased and as I prayed more, the Lord made me take a step out of that valley. Today, I am here to show you, especially for those of you who are going through the valley, living a time of tribulations and difficulties, that in God, we achieve our victory. Stop looking at the problem, stop complaining. God has something big for your life. You are about to experience the best years of your life. You are about to experience the best from God. Receive this by faith. Believe and receive with all your heart. Only then will you live God's work in your life. Close your eyes and surrender your heart to God. Let's pray. Lord, I want to thank you for this word that you have placed in my heart. And I believe, Father, that it was not in vain. Many people are closing one cycle now and starting a new one, a cycle of prosperity, abundance, and we will say, it's not by our strength, we did not enter this new cycle, but it was you who placed us in this prominent position, in this position of honor. Just as you doubled prosperity in Job's life, 
just as you brought joy to Hannah's heart, and she saw your work, in the name of Jesus, I want to praise you because your Holy Spirit is moving in our lives. Despite our sins and weaknesses, you love us, Father. Grant us the anointing of prosperity and blessing in all areas of our lives. We release forgiveness now, Father, and bless those who spoke against us and plotted against our lives, those who are now blinded by malice, envy, and the enemy. We bless these lives and ask you, Lord, not to let them be led astray. Do not let them be deceived by the enemy. We cry out for your blessings, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.